Why it is that in the last hundred years no Luther in Spain, except for AG, have made any experimentation or research or whatever you want to say, creating guitars with different raw materials for parts of the guitar which were are taken still for granted as the only option, which of course is not true. I mean the the, the obsolete ebony fretboard and the rosewood bridge instead of a, of a different thing, even in the, this carbon fiber uh, right hand saddle. This is the only nylon string guitar in the world which has it. Why? Well, because of lack of imagination and also lack of purpose, because before Paco, all this thing came about because of Paco de Lucia as well. Because first he avoided the Cypress guitar at all costs and he said, if everybody plays that, I don't care, I don't want it. So he introduced the Negra in the, uh, the, in the late 60s, which means a rosewood guitar. He took that from the classical guitars to see, let's see if this gives us so much, a little bit more presence because with the Cypress thing, it's, it's just a nightmare. I cannot get any quality to him. He avoided Cypress for 40 years, but now still people still keep getting guitars of Cypress because they don't know. This is one. Th All these things are very tricky to know. You need to get educated on it and, and spend years and follow a teacher also. This, these are and play. You have to play very well. Not only play, play and play very well, because otherwise you don't know <laughs> what they're saying about this. You have to be. It's like becoming an expert on diamonds. If I go to buy a diamond there to Brazil or somewhere, of course they will cheat me because they can tell me this is this is the real diamond and I don't know about it. I don't know what to look on it with the, the lens or whatever. So such a difficult thing is to you know to have to you have to get an expert to get a diamond like that, to know what is the difference between this and that diamond. <laughs> Maybe fake even. So in instruments it's the same you need to know also. And because people didn't know then, so thanks to God Paco started with this changing the the same of the same of the same thing with the Cypress and then he, he eliminated from his life the Cypress Stonewood because it has no quality, in his opinion, and in my opinion, of course, also, I do agree that there are so many other better woods for, for a blanca or for a female tone guitar, like satin, cherry, uh, ash, fresno, maple, and many others. So why using only one thing? Well, this is 
this is the ironical thing that instruments evolve just look at the violin thing before now a Jesudel Guarneri violin maybe it's five million dollars or three I don't know a lot and those violins were great but nobody knew them uh, until Paganini himself started to use it and to get many to do, do modifications of the of the instruments, everybody wanted to know what is this thing, and then everybody copied that, the Sudel Guarneri violin, etc. So it's all a historical thing also which comes with the with great masters of the instrument, of course the level of Paganini playing. You tell me if you want to be a first class violinist today, you have to study also his things, how great he is. Either he did the pact with the devil or not, which I think he did because I I look I watched a movie about this thing very nicely uh, acted and, and that. And he appeared as a, as a manager, <laughs> manager for the gigs, you know. So if you're a musician, you know what I'm talking about. They are the devil. So the, yeah, the, I believe it is true. The, the devil was this guy as, as a manager and, and told Paganini, if you uh, agree to this contract, I will make you fame. You have no money now to pay your expenses, etc. I will make you so famous and so rich. People will be just impressed by you stepping into the into the palcoscenic, into the theater, they will be just amazed to, before you strike the first note, they will just be in love with your music and that. And then, then Paganini said, well, what is the deal? What do you want in, a, in exchange? And he said, well, I want your soul, the manager said. And then Paganini said, what? He said, well, you know, I don't believe in these things. So yeah, give me the contract and I will sign. <laughs> that is the, it's a very nice movie this thing and it's true and then well the devil fulfilled his his word because he said uh something like in the the next 300 years or four or, or 200 years people will still be talking about you this was one of the clauses of the contract <laughs> you know and it's true because now we are saying paganini and this happened already so many years so yeah you have to imagine things and you have to get the impulse of great masters like him and like Paco who started doing and this is the consequence of that what Paco did there in the 60s now this evolution came up to this point that that AG designed the the balance guitar which you can just place there and now you can move around and, and play without uh, having to be pushing here etc with the right hand or or holding it with the left all this consequence of, of modifying the materials, the raw materials, this, this guitar has two fretboards indeed, so it's all, and has, has, a, uh, has a double back as well, so it's, it's all a thing which, it depends on creativity, on the right moment, and on having the ultra, super, super three luthiers working on this guitar, on the AG, there's not one luthier, but three, and, and three top most luthiers, in Spain and then you know this thing evolves with time and then then some things stay there and I am sure that because it is already happening that so many guitar collectors people who appreciate differentiation that they, they love them I will never play again uh, an ebony fretboard guitar is so obsolete and it's difficult to play it doesn't have any good sound but just a classical sound and it doesn't give me any it's not a vehicle for me you see, so this all this happened after after I played 30 years when you played for guitars. I know I have owned every each and every brand and type of guitar from Spain and from anywhere that you can name. And I know what I'm talking about. In this channel, I just made probably I played around 400 of, of these brand guitars. So and this this channel I started eight years ago. So. How many guitars do you think I played 30 years before? So I have seen thousands, literally, of instruments, so I know what I'm talking about. Therefore, you need to get your experience. Ideally, one gets an unbiased advice from an expert on any topic, and then you get there. Otherwise, if, if Paco was not here, this would never be created evolution of things, and same uh, of, of Gesù del Guarneri and Paganini there because great masters changed the 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 ways things were done and and presented a better way which is 
a futuristic thing. You have to imagine, you have to be artistic, and you have to like differentiation. Mira, yo lo que descubrí ahí es la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Pato, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.